I have to say that the Commonwealth, I'm just not feeling the Commonwealth in this episode. I hate seeing a bunch of dumbasses who can't protect themselves. I, I, I don't want this in The Walking Dead. I just don't, I just don't like the direction that the Commonwealth is going. I'll just put it that way. I don't, I don't really like the direction that it's taking. I loved all the stuff with Maggie and Negan. I think that was the highlight of the episode. You know, I get what Negan is saying when he says if he could do it all over again, he would kill everybody because not killing them led to the fall of his community. But I think that his community was unstable anyway and was going to fall one way or another. So I think he generally Negan is the voice of reason <laughs> and um, and he's very um, pragmatic and logical. But I think he's wrong in that uh, because, yeah, the saviors, that wasn't going to last um, the way that he was running it. So eventually someone else besides Rick would have come along or he would have been overthrown from the inside out. I mean, look at what Simon and um, Dwight, I mean, you know, you know what I mean? So I don't think, and I don't know how much he knows about Simon and Dwight, but anyway, the point is, is I think he's wrong. <laughs> I think he just needed to do everything differently, not just uh, wiping out Rick's people. But I can understand from you know, just his perspective of, well, that is directly what led to the fall of my community, then, you know, sure. Um, but I think you need to walk it back a little bit further than that is what I'm saying. Um, but I, I really enjoyed all of that. I think that um, they have great chemistry, both as characters and actors, which I'm surprised by and happy, um, you know, pleasantly surprised. So I think all of that is great. You know, the rest of the stuff, like, I, I, was, was, I was wondering, see, I don't, about Daryl and Leah, I was kind of surprised that they were off on their own. Pope must really trust her, I guess. Um, I don't think that he trusts Daryl completely, but he must really trust her. I thought it was clever how he was I think Daryl was trying to feel Leah out and see basically, you know, how, whether or not he could tell her the truth. And it seems like he was about to in that final scene, but then they got called away. So, um, it was, you know, semi-interesting, but really not that interesting. I really like Leah as a character. I actually think she's interesting but I can't I can't suss her out I don't know exactly who she is because I feel like Daryl would not have been with her if she was this person but he hasn't addressed that he hasn't said you know wow you've changed you know because that obviously happens in the zombie apocalypse you know we've seen plenty of people change from good to bad or bad to good or you know any anything in between. Like we've seen people go through these experiences and, and come out the other side, sometimes for the better and sometimes for the worse. So the fact that she doesn't seem to question Daryl, and I just feel like if they were together for however long they were together, I'm not really sure, a year and a half or something like that, um, she would know that this isn't him and so I feel like there should be a conversation like, wow, you've really changed. Yeah, so have you. I'm surprised that you're, you know, <laughs> running with these people, like that kind of thing. Um, so it would have been nice if we had a little bit more of a heart to heart between the two of them. Um, I do think that on the surface, though, that Leah is an interesting character. I just, I can't really tell because we didn't know her before, except for that one flashback episode, I can't tell if this is unlike her or if she's just, you know, like if she's just broken and this is like, d does she want to be this person or not? You know what I mean? Like how much of the Kool-Aid has she drank? Um, I, I don't know. So if this would have been a good opportunity for Daryl and Leah to have like an honest conversation and 
they were leaning into that a little bit, but not enough, I think, for my taste. I am really interested in the <laughs> army of walkers that uh, Maggie and Negan have accumulated. <laughs> so that'll be interesting. I'm guessing that they're going to hit Meridian with those walkers in the next episode because that's 1108. So presumably we're going to get some good action. Um, but I have no idea what's, what the result of that is going to be. I hope that we just wipe out the Reapers because I'm just not interested. I'm assuming that Leah is going to end up with our people. Uh, and I don't hate that if, if it's like, if it's good, <laughs> like if it's good, then that's, a, that's okay. Um, but how would Maggie feel about that? You know what I mean? So I, I don't know. I can't tell. Maybe she'll die heroically, which is probably the best thing for her character. Um, at this point, for her to die, you know, saving Daryl, for example. Um, so, but I do want this Reaper storyline wrapped up. I really do. It's just not working for me. And I want, I, I wanted more of the Commonwealth, but I don't like the direction that the Commonwealth is going in either. So, yikes. I don't know. And I have to say that I was kind of bored uh, it, at times in this episode as well. So once we finish um, 1108 next week, I'm going to do a 11A wrap up um, because I just want to feel, I feel like I want to talk about this first third of the final season. Um but I have to say that overall, so far, I've been, been pretty disappointed. It's been pretty underwhelming, and I don't know. I hope it, I hope it gets better. I really do. I want to be blown away, and I'm just not. So, sorry if the review's a bummer. <laughs> like, this wasn't bad. This wasn't a bad episode, but, you know, I was thinking about it. Because I loved seasons 9 and 10 so much. And when I came into season 9, my expectations, because I had quit the show for two and a half years. So I had quit after season 8, and when I came back to it, my expectations were down here. And the show surprised the hell out of me and delivered way up here, right? So then when I came into season 10, my expectations were up here. And it delivered, and in some cases, exceeded those expectations again. So coming into season 11, my expectations are up here now, because it's the final season. And I just feel like it's kind of hitting right about down here, you know what I mean? And so I guess what I'm trying to say is I don't know how much of this is like, is the show really not that good? Or is it just my expectations being way the hell up here? that's making me feel a little disappointed. So I don't know. I'd be interested in your thoughts if you're having the same kind of experience that I am. <laughs> so anyway, that's it for now. I'll see you next week. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.